We call it a spill, but it was actually also the site of 11 people's death, 17 were badly injured, and tens of thousands have been put out of work. When you're down in the Gulf, you see all the different ways the oil industry has changed southern Louisiana and the Gulf Coast. It has dredged channels, the wetlands are gone, and there's pipelines and dredge platforms and drilling platforms throughout. The media has covered the spill on a day-to-day -day basis, but they've never really looked behind the scenes. They might have looked at the specific mistakes that were made, but not why we let those mistakes happen. Part of what the book talks about is the addiction to oil as a result of a whole series of deliberate policies, largely in place because of lobbying by the oil companies, that have made our cars inefficient, that have lowered mass transit, that have designed communities so you have to hop in a car to drive anywhere, that have increased the amount of travel that we do. All of that is not just chance, that's a result of deliberate policies put in place because of vast millions of dollars of lobbying by the oil companies. Every barrel of oil has 11,000 hours of human labor in it. And it's very difficult to get. It's very dangerous to get. So we have to use it very, very carefully. Right now, America uses 20 million barrels of oil every day. And it's a phenomenal amount of oil. The book addresses what happened in the Gulf of Mexico and where do we go from here? How can we make sure this doesn't happen again? First and foremost, the book talks about how we can get off oil. We can have a stronger economy and we can be safer. Somebody needs to look out for the public. It's not going to be BP. The market without oversight doesn't consider the environment and doesn't consider the public. It just considers the company moving ahead as quickly as it can for its profits. So to rely on the market without government oversight invites this sort of disaster. The good part is that in the United States we do have a functioning government and so even though it failed here, we can fix it. And that's the exciting part, that we can actually learn from our mistakes so we can make sure this doesn't happen again.